Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy, where today I want to compare and contrast two minimalist holsters that I use uh, for my SIG P365XL. I'll put this away in a second, but both of these holsters will work for the 365XL, the 365X, or the OG365. I do believe I read that neither works for the new 365 macro. So um, again, these are both trigger guard holsters. Uh, the one on the left is from QVO Tactical, QVO Tactical trigger guard holster. And the one on the right is from Rounded or Concealment Express trigger guard holster. I did an earlier video on this guy and I'll talk about that a bit as we go through this comparison. Um, these are both, again, they serve the same function. They cover your trigger guard and they can seal very nicely and very discreetly uh, into your, your belt line. So um, they're very similarly, similarly priced, uh, both in the $40 range. I think the uh, rounded version in basic black is $37 and the Kydex option you see here goes up to 39 or 40 bucks. I don't remember exactly, but it's no more than that. Um, the QVO tactical version in basic black uh, starts at 40 bucks and from there you can add all kinds of options, different wing options here. You have different prints and fabric overlays. This is a fabric overlay. Let me get you a good close up of that. Um, it's an 80s Bayside print they call it. Uh, I'm a child of the 80s and it brought back good memories. So um, in case you're curious what it looks like close up, there you go. So. Um, so again, very similar price, very same, very similar function. One big difference, um, the rounded option, you get one holster and it comes with two wings, a left-hand wing and a right-hand wing. I chose the left-hand wing because I am left-handed uh, and it works very well, conceals easily and it doesn't really print at all. So nice option for uh, both left or right-handed carry. On the QVO tactical version, I had to choose left-handed up front. There's no option to reverse it. Uh, it does come with a couple different options here for thickness of this of this little mini wing. Uh, I think you can order a different wing for this as well, but it conceals very nice just as it comes here without paying anything extra for that. Uh, I'll also take a quick look at the belt clips. They're both tuckable. Um, let me turn them this way so you can see the clips. Um, start with the uh, rounded version. This guy is uber, uber aggressive. You can see how it hugs under your belt here. Uh, once it goes into your belt, it ain't coming out without a little bit of work. So it's very, very secure in your belt line. Uh, this guy also very secure and also has the little rounded edge at the bottom. So it grasps your belt really, really well, which is great when you're drawing out. So um, again, both can seal great, both clip to your belt really, really well. Um, the biggest difference I see is retention. When I did my first video on the rounded option, I talked about how good the retention was probably too good. So I'll drop this guy in here for a second so you can see how it looks. Quick weapons check. I'll zoom out for a second. Uh, this guy, you can see nothing in the magazine, or no magazine, and the gun is empty. So, and safety's on. So basically this just slides right over your, your holster. Nice positive click. And this guy doesn't move. If you look at it, he doesn't move at all. Now that was that's great because it's very secure. When I first got it, I had a hard time taking it out to draw. Like it is a really hard pull if you come out that way. What I've learned is if I pull out and up slightly, a piece of cake comes out much easier. And with a little practice, again, this thing's very secure in your belt line. This guy pops right out, super quick draw. So while the retention is good, almost too good, it won't come out of there, it's still easy to draw. So I don't think the retention has lightened up. I think I've just learned to draw with it. And this is very, very good. I've carried this guy now for several months. Love it. Now, on the QVO, QVO option, again, I have another QVO, QVO full-size holster and liked it a lot. Loved the print on it. Loved the way it fit. It was a full Kydex holster. So I want to try their version of the concealment of the uh, trigger guard holster. And again, I like the prints, so I dropped this on there. And immediately I noticed, gosh, look, it doesn't really cover the trigger guard as much. Uh, there's lots of little bit of open space there, which feels odd. Let me show you this again. There's a little bit of movement there. See how that's not even? If I go back to the rounded option, no lines, seems to fit a little bit better, right? So put this guy in there. And again, it's not bad, but there's definitely a line there. And the retention, much easier to draw. Like so easy to draw, no problem at all. 
But the only thing I felt a little bit uncomfortable with was, while it's easier to draw, it's not quite as secure in the holster. If you look, you can move it like this. And that really kind of, you know, if you're sitting in a car and moving around, I don't like a lot of movement here with something loaded pointed at my junk. So uh, I love my other QBO holster. I love QBO as a company. They have great designs. I'm pretty sure though, I'm gonna stick with Concealment Express for my trigger guard holster because I'm just not super comfortable with this movement. Again, I originally complained about too much retention here, but I've learned to really pull it and draw it and it, it works really well. This one draws super easy, but if you look at retention, see how much it moves there? I just didn't like that movement around the trigger with one in the chamber pointed down south. So uh, again, not a terrible holster. I just prefer the uh, this guy over the other. So I'll zoom in for a closer look again. Um, that's too close, sorry guys. Um, so again, QVO Tactical, they make great holsters. Uh, but I think this one's probably gonna go in my drawer and not get used as much as this uh, rounded or concealment express option. So uh, again, one last look, pop it on there, nice and secure. Again, it presses back into your body so it doesn't really, um, doesn't really show. Clips in nice and secure. And when I draw it, just draw straight out that way. It's a good click draw, but I love that positive retention uh, and just feel super secure. Uh, when it's tucked in. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you would, please like and subscribe. It helped me so much with the algorithms. Uh, thanks, bye.